Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, it is Saturday, it's about 10.30 in the morning, and I just, well I didn't just wake up. I've actually been in bed for like an hour, but it's Saturday, so I'm taking a little bit more time before I just skyrocket out of bed and get the day going, because even though it's technically like a weekend, I still work on my weekends, but my work is fun, so it doesn't feel like work, aka today, and streaming on Twitch, and all those things. But anyway, today I thought it would be really fun to try eating recommended serving sizes for 24 hours. I've seen so many different channels do this. One of my favorite channels, Click for Taz, is the first one that I think I saw do it, or it was Derek Gerard. It was one of those, but I thought it looked really cool. So basically, if you don't know what recommended serving sizes are, on the back of all packages, all food items, there's always the nutrition facts, and it'll say, you know, recommended serving size, three Oreos, or, you know, whatever, and it'll tell you how many calories that is. And I believe that this is based on a 2,000 calorie diet. However, I don't know how they decided who is good enough for a 2,000 calorie diet. Taz kind of talked about that in her video too, but I do know for a fact it's based off a 2,000 calorie diet. <laughs> so I thought that would be fun because at the end of the day, they don't know that you're actually gonna consume the 2,000 calories and where those calories are gonna come from. I don't know how they do it, but I wanna try it today. So I have all my meals kind of planned out for today. I already know what I'm gonna eat because I kind of eat all of the same things. So I went grocery shopping yesterday, did a little bit with Riley and then I ordered some online. So yeah, I'm just gonna basically take you guys through a what I ate today, but with recommended serving sizes only. And I wanna see how this actually does in terms of making me feel full and if I feel like it was enough. I just said the same thing twice, but you get what I'm saying. Also, something that I really respected that Taz mentioned in the video that I had never actually thought to say before is that some of you may find this type of content triggering when it comes to calorie counting, um, you know, if you have obsessive compulsive habits when it comes to that. So if that is something that you think might be a thing, I highly recommend clicking out of this video. Avoid any triggering content, not worth it. But with that disclaimer said and that little intro done, let's go ahead and jump into it. I typically like to wake up and have coffee first thing in the morning. It was pretty regular habit of mine, but now I don't really eat too much in the morning. And then I stopped drinking coffee for a while. So when I did that, I started getting really sick after drinking coffee, like super nauseous, stomach ache, super anxious, obviously all those things. So I got this yesterday and I had it yesterday. It was really nice. It's a sweet tangerine positive energy tea and it has like green leaves or yerba mate, green lemongrass, ashwagandha, uh, just a bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna steep myself some tea and the recommended serving size, one tea bag. Imagine if it said like one quarter of a tea bag, I'd be so concerned. I'm gonna make myself, I'm gonna, do that. gonna make myself some tea while I make my breakfast. All right, tea is steeping, and yes, I know I don't own a kettle. I didn't really drink tea before, but here's what I'm gonna make for breakfast. I'm gonna have some eggs, some bread. I think I put some jam on the bread, and then some sliced turkey bacon. So, let's see, starting here first with eggs, I have a feeling it's probably just gonna be a recommended serving size of one egg. What do you know? Serving size, one egg. I would typically have two, maybe three, but that's fine. One scrambled egg it is. Perfect, so for Dave's Killer Bread, this is like my favorite bread and I typically have one to two slices. Oh, lovely, one slice. So one slice of bread, one egg, turkey bacon. I think this is gonna be two slices. Oh my God, this is also only one slice. Okay, and four, it violently throws the turkey bacon. And then I can do one tablespoon of jam. Ooh, you know what else I'm gonna add? I just bought vegan butter. Vegan butter, where are you? Here it is. I just got vegan butter because your girl's cutting out dairy, so I'm gonna mix that with the jam onto the bread. Let's do this. We've got our super appetizing breakfast here. Um, my earth balance calls for one tablespoon of butter, and I believe that this guava jam, which also, how good does that sound? Uh, this also calls for one tablespoon, which also just kind of seems like a lot for, <laughs> for one piece of toast, but let's do it. Dude, that's a lot of butter. 
All right, we've got our one egg, one turkey slice, one slice of bread, one tablespoon of butter, and one tablespoon of jam, and then one tea. So, not gonna lie, this actually looks and smells really good. I just wish there were more of it, you know? Probably not the craziest thing, but um, I'm gonna eat this. Taste bomb. Oh, got an egg in the jam. Egg in the jam. That guava jam is like seriously good. <laughs> Let's eat this really quick and I will I'll let you guys know, but I guarantee this is uh, not gonna make me full. I thought when I was spreading out the butter that it might end up being okay. A little overwhelming on the butter. Kind of taking away the taste of the guava. That's all right. <laughs> oh, that butter. Oh my god. All right guys, so I'm on my last little bit of, ooh, I don't wanna spill it, but there's just a little bit of tea left in here. Done. So we finished everything and I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's just that I don't have a huge appetite when I wake up in the morning, but I'm really, I'm actually full. I wasn't super full after I ate the breakfast. I was like, okay, I could stop eating and be down, but because I had a big thing of tea and obviously like, Caffeine is an appetite suppressant, and although this isn't coffee, it still has, you know, caffeine in it. I think it filled me up nice and obviously a lot of fluids. So, so far, I'm feeling good. It's 11.50 now. I'll check back in in about hour and a half when I'm ready to have my midday snack. All right, guys, it is midday. I just got done streaming on Twitch for a little while, and I'm gonna have a snack. I have been loving, I've been eating a ton of wheat thins and spicy hummus, but I am not measuring this. I am not planning how much of it I should eat, nor have I even bothered to check what the serving sizes are for this. So, serving size, two tablespoons. That doesn't seem too bad. It's like 30 grams. And then 16 pieces of wheat thins. Doesn't seem like enough for me. I'm starving, like actually starving. It just hit me right now. All right, <laughs> so here we have 30 grams of wheat thins and 28 grams of hummus. Look, I mean, this isn't like the worst serving size. I just feel like this is something that I would give to like kids if I was babysitting and I was like, here's something to munch on while you're watching TV. Um, I would definitely eat double or triple this amount, but it's fine. What are the views? Oh, that's like... I'm so sad. I'm all done. And um, there's no way that I'm gonna eat the rest of this hummus, but I'm very sad because I did not want that to be over. So I excitedly came over here to make my late lunch, which was supposed to be this uh, vegetable, lentil, and roasted red pepper soup. Come on, that sounds pretty good. But something told me, let me just check the expiration date and, oh wait, at this point I really don't know if that's March 21st, 2018 or March 18th, 2021. Oh, oh no. Riley, I have a dilemma. So remember this vegetable lentil? Yeah. So what's the actual expiration date? Oh. Cause didn't we get rid of everything? Yes, we got rid of everything. So it wouldn't be possible. So if I get sick, I'm blaming it on you. Cool, but you know, I'm in the will, right? No, I removed you last minute. <laughs> we are going to assume that it's good. This portion actually doesn't seem terrible. So it says 150 calories, that's one cup, 245 grams. That's half of this, because there's two servings per container, 25, 27 grams of carbs and seven grams of protein. Wow, very futuristic of them. Oh, it smells good. No, it smells so good. You lie. No, I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this whole thing because Riley might have some of it as well. It's actually already starting to bubble, so probably won't heat this for that much longer. So we've got 245 grams of lentil soup, and I figure I'm gonna pair it with some Ritz crackers, which I actually have no idea what the serving size is. Actually, wow, that is exactly what I assumed it would be. Five crackers. That seems like a good amount to pair with about a cup of soup. Let's do it. All right, let's uh, smell the soup taste. It's not bad, it's pretty bland. It smells better than it tastes in terms of, I just feel like it doesn't have a ton of flavor, but this is probably gonna be one of the more filling things that I have just because it's a lot of fiber, a lot of beans, corn, um, and broth and soup. And obviously the crackers are gonna be a really good touch. Well, I won't be eating all of these, I'll be eating five, but I almost don't wanna eat them. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, look who just got back. Oh, look at the boys. Look at the boys who just got back. Huh? Where were you while I was taking care of our kids? I was filming another goddamn YouTube video. I am sick of pulling the weight in this household. Just finished the soup. Gonna go ahead and pass on the crackers. Not really feeling it. The soup has me actually nice and full. Hello, I'm back. It's been a few hours since I have last recorded and I might be looking <laughs> 
a little different now. I washed my hair, Riley styled it. Actually, no, I didn't wash my hair. Riley washed it for me because I also got a lash fill today, meaning that when you get your lashes filled, you can't get them wet for 24 hours. So I was asking Riley what I should do and then he said he would wash my hair for me because he's my best friend. And now it is time for dinner. <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty full from the stuff that I've eaten. That lentil soup I think was very filling. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself dinner and it's going to be pasta and then I bought this some Beyond Burger plant-based patties and I thought it would be kind of cool to try and crumble this up and put it in the pasta as kind of like a, a vegan pasta thing because it will be vegan because I can't have dairy either. So let's see what these serving sizes call for. Let's, you know, hope for the best. Okay, so for our ingredients today, we're going to use bonza rotini made from chickpeas. These are my favorite type of noodles. And this calls for, well, first of all, that's actually just impressive. Average pasta has 13 grams of protein. This one has 23 grams of protein. Is that per serving? No, that's per three and a half ounce serving. Well, they're kind of giving me options here, which I wasn't really prepared for. But being that this is dinner, I feel it is only appropriate to go with a 340 calorie option. So that actually does then mean that it is six grams of fat, 56 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of protein. Then we're going to add in some spinach so we can get some cooked green vegetables in there. I've got this low sodium marinara sauce that I don't know. I think I just ordered it online and hoped for the best. It might have been on sale. I'm not sure, but totally vegan, extra virgin olive oil, no tomato paste. Should be pretty good. And then this has to be cooked separately. Um, it needs to be just pan fried for about 10 minutes and, you know, crumble it up and hope for the best, as I've said a million times now. I'm gonna make about half of this chickpea pasta. I'm gonna crumble up this patty, which is also one serving suggestion. I think spinach calls for one cup. This doesn't actually say, but I'll do a cup of spinach. And this calls for half a cup of pasta, which I think is pretty fair. Not mad about this. Okay, so I completely forgot while I was making the pasta that I was only supposed to be cooking myself one serving, but I figure I might as well just make it like a full portion worth. So I dumped all the pasta in there. I've still only made one patty, so I'm just gonna measure it out after, but it's almost done cooking. So I'm gonna do two servings of pasta to sauce and two servings of spinach and only eat half of it and then I'll have leftovers for tomorrow or something. Just a heads up. So um, this whole experience has just reminded me that I am not a chef and there is a reason that I stick to crock pot recipes, <laughs> but I made it, filled pasta, you know, everywhere. Still not the craziest portion. I mean, this is good for me as a tiny person, but you know, if you're like a full grown human male, I don't see this being enough for you. I eat like children portions though. I'm really interested to see how this tastes cause I'm no chef, but I'm very scared. Vegan pasta, let's go. Okay, first things first. Oh my god, that Beyond Meat is disgusting. Oh, I forgot to add salt and pepper. Maybe that'll help. This is hands down the most disgusting thing I've ever made in my entire life. Oh my god. <coughs> I can't eat that. <coughs> Riley. Yeah? Try this pasta. Why are you scared? You're on the floor. Dude, I can't eat it. It's the most disgusting pasta I've ever made. It's the only pasta you've ever made. No, it's not. I know, I'm just joking. <laughs> I like it. What? You like it? It's not bad. It's not like traditional, but it's not bad. Although I don't have as sensitive a palate as you. Oh my god, that's like a two out of ten. Well, guys, um, we're probably gonna end this 24-hour challenge here because I don't want to try cooking again. I don't want to eat a cup of noodles. I honestly just want something that isn't what I just ate because it was disgusting. Riley didn't think it was bad. He had like five bites of it, but I am offended because I'm by no means a chef. I know that's not what this video is about, but I'm really offended with myself right now because I am not a chef. But that. Shit was disgusting. Like, tasted like mushrooms and dirt mixed into a bowl of noodles that just 
I'm not okay. That's gonna be it for this eating recommended serving sizes for 24 hours. Although the last part was incredibly unsuccessful, I feel like we did pretty good on everything else. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to throw this video a thumbs up. If there's any other 24 hour challenges that you guys would want to see from me, make sure to comment that down below. I've really been considering doing like eating like celebrity here for 24 hours, Kylie Jenner, The Rock, Chrissy Teigen. I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. Things like that would be really fun for me to do. Okay, so thanks so much for watching again, guys. I love you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go order sushi or something like that to get this terrible, terrible taste out of my mouth. Bye.